A school district in Mississippi has decided to ban To Kill a Mockingbird from the reading list for its eighth grade students. Now, this isn't the first time To Kill a Mockingbird has uh, you know, received some criticism, backlash, or threats of a ban. Um, however, the reason that school officials have given um, is fascinating to say the least. So uh, there have been more than 300 formal complaints against this book and they've been reported by schools, colleges and uh, public libraries last year alone. And a lot of it has to do with um, some of the language that's used and also a theme that's used in the book, which is, of course, if you've read To Kill a Mockingbird, it has to do with a black man who's been falsely accused of rape. So there's sexual content in it as well. Now, a school administrator, a member of the school board to be specific, said there is some language in the book that makes people uncomfortable. So the N-word does appear in the book nearly 50 other times throughout Mockingbird, almost always in dialogue. The novel won its author a Pulitzer Prize for fiction and made the values of the civil rights movement, particularly a feeling for the god awful unfairness of segregation, real for millions. And that was written by the Washington Post. And so it's just, uh, go ahead, jump in. I don't know what to say. Yeah, so look, the real reason that the book is banned in a lot of places is because it makes people in the South uncomfortable. It's about what happened in the 1930s in Alabama, that's where it's set. And it was released in 1960. And let me read you a part of what they explain in the book. So if you read the full context of the book, you'll understand that um, that it's not like the N-word is used in a positive way. No, it explains why it's so wrong. And that's part of what gets under some people's skin. So uh, in one part of the book, um, the girl asks her father, um, what exactly is an N-lover? He says it's hard to explain and he goes on to say, it's uh, ignorant, trashy people use it when they think somebody's favoring Negroes over and above themselves. It slipped into usage with some people like ourselves when they want a common ugly term to label somebody. So the book is incredibly clear on, on what a terrible word it is and, and the people that use it are trash. So that gets under some people's skin. Mm -hmm. And so they're like, "Oh, what are you saying about Alabama? First of all, it's Alabama from the 1930s. If you're taking it personally, there's some chance there's something wrong with you. That, that you know, because it should be something you're saying, oh, well, thank God they wrote that book and showed how ugly racism was. And now we, we in Alabama and other places in the country are beyond it. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously we're not because they're still trying to ban the book uh, in so many different places in the country. Right, exactly. So uh, the recent example uh, was in Biloxi, Mississippi. That is the school district uh, that is calling for a ban on To Kill a Mockingbird. And when I say ban, it means that it's being taken off of the reading list for uh, the eighth grade class. And look, I think that it's important to read these types of books because not only are they classics, but it, it reminds you of you know what the history of the country was. Even though it's a fictional book, it still uh, touches on historical themes in the US and it, it shows that hey you know we have progressed somewhat but more importantly we have a dark past and we don't want to go back to that dark past the only the only way you prevent you know the cruel treatment that we experienced in history is to learn history and and what we're seeing right now is like this whitewashing of American history that I think is damaging um, I just want to say real quick that you know, look. I imagine some African Americans could get upset at seeing the word fifty different times, um, but I, the overwhelming majority of African Americans uh, are in favor of the book and want the book taught. Uh, and part of what the book did so well and why it was such a classic was it took the the racist uh, tropes of the past, things like you would see in the Birth of a Nation, where they have a, a, a man in blackface going around raping white woman. And and turned it on its head and showed that it was wrong. Mm -hmm. You know that there's these assumptions made about African Americans and it isn't true, and so that's why the huge huge percentage of African Americans are of course in favor, not only just in favor of teaching the book, but quite upset as Dion Cole was recently. He's a star, one of the stars of Blackish, and he so mad that they're taking the book away especially in the south. 
So we have a uh, video of him um, kind of talking about this a little bit. He was at uh, LAX, the airport, and he was approached by TMZ, and here's what he had to say about this whole debacle. Why are they keep trying to change history and trying to make it? They're trying to get it to the point where nothing ill has ever happened to black people ever in life. They're trying to make it that way. They say like living in a fantasy right now, and they like, yo, they thinking that they're trying to take everything away. That's 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 bull. That's that's BS, man. That's bullshit. That happened in history. Right. You got to keep that in there. Why would you take that away? Because then that shows black people where they came from, and it gives them more purpose to be proud of who they are and how we overcome. Just like Mark Twain, they was trying to get rid of Mark Twain, but no. Keep all them niggas in the book. Keep all of them in there. Just, just to show <laughs> kids coming up how many niggas they thought we were. Yeah, look at the end there. He's obviously he's does comedy and he's being funny, but uh, they followed him for quite some time. Yeah, he had a lot to say about this, which I like. Uh, but um, he he reminded me of something and made a great point in the beginning there, which is that. It's funny that when you try to take Confederate monuments down, they say you got to preserve history. You got, hey, history happened. You can't yes. deny it. But when you talk about how blacks were mistreated in the South, like in To Kill a Mockingbird, bird, as it shows, I don't know. Do we really show have to show that side of history? I mean, aren't we? Right. You, you guys, you progressives, like to talk about that too much. If you like the Young Turks, you'll love Young Turks membership. Tytnetwork.com/join.